The Hunting Show, brought to you by Park Center Sporting Goods. Good evening, and welcome to another episode of The Hunting Show on WZTS-TV, Cozy TV, powered by Park Center Sporting Goods, right here in Rainhill, West Virginia. I got Brent Cookshanks with me, the owner of Park Center Sporting Goods. Brent, what's the record numbers we had in uh, gun background checks in 2020? We had 39.7 million background checks, and in March they set a record with 30, with, I'm sorry, with 3.7 million background checks in March, and then in June they broke it with 3.9 million background checks in June alone. Was your numbers high? Oh yeah, our numbers have really increased starting in February of last year. Everything just started going up, 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 uh, and we really haven't seen a decrease since then. Uh, probably the only thing that's, that's slowing things down right now is the availability of firearms and ammo. It's, it's kind of tough to get both, so a lot of people aren't buying handguns and, and long guns like they were because they can't get the ammunition for it. I hear that you know quite often that you know why why buy a gun if I can't get the ammo? So I hear that sometimes, but you know. I think things are going to get better. Right. I hope so. Uh, they can't get much worse than what they are right now. So hopefully they'll get better and uh, and you know everybody will get back to normal and we can be able to get the the inventory that we want. Well, Brent, they said it was a little over 16 million people had background checks from January 2020 up to October 2020, and then in November and December it more than doubled up to that 39.7 million in those last two months. We had that big rush right sure. there. Oh yeah, I've never seen anything like it. Uh, been doing this for 22 years and I've never seen it's anything we could get our hands on people wanted uh, and you know there's there's extra money floating around and, and then everybody's concerned about the administration that's coming in, or has came in now and and you know I mean and rightfully so I mean we do we do have some fears in, in our industry but I, I believe that when everything's said and done everything will be will, will be back to normal well Brent here's a little bit more uh, trivia and facts right here it was five million new background checks so it's five million new people that bought guns for the first time in 2020 and that goes to the hundred million plus people that already owns guns in the united states and brent here's a little bit of trivia for you and people at home you know montana was the number one state that sold the most guns in 2020 it was montana huh. and west virginia was number four west virginia was the fourth leading state to sell guns in 2020 and that brings us to our episode tonight. We got Ty Samples. He is our expert going to talk about gun safety. Right, yeah, he's going to, he's going to talk to us. Uh, Ty is a former state, a retired uh, state trooper for the West Virginia State Police. Uh, he's also uh, an, an NRA firearm instructor. And uh, he's going to talk to us tonight about, uh, you know, some firearm safety and maybe we'll talk about cleaning firearms. And also, we're going to also promote, we're going to start doing uh, some concealed classes concealed uh, carry classes here at the store and Ty will be instructing those and I've known him for a long time he's a gun enthusiast he knows just about everything there is to know about guns and and uh, he's a really good friend of ours and, and a good and a good customer and uh, we're glad to have him here with us tonight all right Ty tell us a little bit about your background and your in law enforcement career and then some of the other things that you've done okay well first thank you for having me I really appreciate the oh, opportunity yeah. uh, basically I grew up since I was four years old enthused with firearms and as I grew up I've shot a variety of stuff hunting you know fishing target shooting then joined the military out of high school after high school went to college for a short stint still continued to shoot um, went in the state police in 1994 went through there had firearms training through there uh, basically in I think it was 2008 I went through the state police firearms school to go be a localized instructor for whenever they don't have training at the academy mm -hmm. and then in 2000 I think 11 I went through the NRA handgun instructors course so I trained through that so I'm really pro-gun I like to see as many people out there take advantage of expressing their right to own firearms and using it as they can and legally right that's awesome uh, yeah. you know it's uh, that's that's a very uh, intensive background I mean, background that you have you know you've, you've done just about everything when it comes to firearms and training and different things uh, I didn't even know you were in the military and I really appreciate mm -hmm. you uh, your service there and I really appreciate your service to our community through your, through your law enforcement career. Okay so when we come back we'll be with Ty. We're going to talk about uh, concealed carry classes and then some firearm maintenance. We'll be back to the hunting show on WZTS TV, Cozy TV, powered by Park Center Sporting Goods in Raynell, West Virginia. 
The Hunting Show, brought to you by Park Center Sporting Goods. Park Center Sporting Goods, with the largest selection of firearms and ammo in the area. Over 50 years of combined experience. Shop for guns, rifles, scopes, bow and arrows, knives, fishing rods, a great selection of boots like Danner, hunting clothes, and accessories. Park Street Sporting Goods is located at 410 John Rain Drive, Rain L. Open Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. and Sunday from 12.30 p.m. to 5 p.m. or 24-7 online. For more information, call Park Center Sporting Goods in Rain L at 304-438-5660. I'm Debbie. Hi, I'm David. Welcome, Welcome to, to Ace, Ace Hardware, Hardware of Raynell, West, West Virginia. Virginia. Here at Ace Hardware in Raynell, West Virginia, we have several of your heating and plumbing and electrical needs, any kind of home repairs, roofing, concrete mix, plus we have electrical and plumbing hardware for all your home needs. We also carry power tools. We have some canning supplies for all seasons. We have decorative flags. We're a full service dealer with a full time mechanic and a full park selection. We also keep steel oils. Also we keep a full selection of steel chains and bars in stock and can make chains for any various saws. And we practically have all accessories for steel products in stock. Here at Ace Hardware in Raynell, we also have the remotes for your transponder keys. We have the replacement keys. We are one of the very few places that stock these. They are like half off of what you would pay at the dealer. Plus, here at Ace Hardware, we can also, we have a sidewinder cutter where we can cut sidewinder keys. Plus, we can also cut basically every other key design made. Ace, Ace is a place with the helpful hardware, hardware folks in Rain L. Stop by today at 326 Main Street, Rain L, or call 304-438-8731. Jackson's Meat Shop, Webster Road, Summersville. When it comes to great seasoning, we've got you covered. Jerky seasoning, smoke flavored seasoning, pork seasoning, bologna seasoning, summer sausage seasoning, smoked Polish kielbasa seasoning, jalapeno jerky seasoning. Jackson's Meat Shop has you covered for on-the-go package jerky and beef sticks. Uncle Mike has great flavors like sweet and spicy. House Blend, Barbecue Teriyaki, Black Pepper, Maple, and Habanero. We also have gluten-free beef sticks. When it comes to meat, we have the best steak, hamburgers, pork, and so much more. Jackson's Meat Shop, 3001 Webster Road, Somersville. We've got you covered from A to Z for all your grocery needs. Jackson's Meat Shop, Somersville. Valentine and kids are our future. If you live, work, or worship in Beck County, then you are eligible to join Alloy Federal Credit Union. Alloy Federal Credit Union has two locations serving you. One at 515 Hinkle Road, right here in Fettville at Doug Village Shops, and we are also located at 3574 Midland Trail, Alloy, West Virginia. Love Alloy Federal Credit Union! Alloy Federal Credit Union, bridging the gap to all of Fayette County. Windows and Doors of Oak Hill, West Virginia is a manufacturer of premium vinyl windows and doors, plus commercial doors and windows. Our products are 100% American made by our local staff. There is no custom size, just your size. Crown Windows and Doors proudly serving our community for over 50 years. Crown Windows and Doors at 540 Industrial Drive, Oak Hill, West Virginia. Our number is 304-469-2260. To schedule your appointment today. The Hunting Show brought to you by Park Center Sporting Goods.
Welcome back to The Honey Show on WZTS-TV, Cozy TV, powered by Park Center Sporting Goods, right here in Raynell, West Virginia. Back to Brent Crookshanks and Ty Samples. So Ty, you know, we talked a little bit about concealed carry and some of the things that that, that entails. Uh, what are some of the uh, pros to having a concealed carry license? Uh, one is the background check, which you're familiar with. Right. You can bypass the next check as long as you've got a valid concealed carry card. Right. You know, a lot of people come in here to buy a firearm. They drive a long ways to come to buy the firearm, and then when they get here, they either get delayed or maybe the system's down, and they can't. But with that permit, you get clearance no matter what. Well, yeah. Another thing about it is, too, being in a bordering area like what we are with Virginia, there's a reciprocal agreement between West Virginia and Virginia and several other surrounding states. So that way, if you get used to carrying your, your firearm, whenever you transport across state lines, as long as you know the, the laws and the regulations in those areas, it's nothing to go across state boundaries. Now, if you did that without having a concealed weapons permit, you travel over, you can get in a lot of hot water. Right. Now, can you... You, you mentioned Virginia. What are the, some of the other bordering states that, that do you know who the, what those states are? I basically, all of our bordering states except for Maryland and Washington, D.C., they're restricted right. areas. They can't. Ohio, Pennsylvania, you know, Tennessee, Kentucky, North Carolina, all these going clear down to Florida. And basically through your Midwest, Illinois is not a state that honors ours. Right. And so you can go quite a ways. So, you know, if you're going on vacation, going to go to the beach for the, for the week or whatever, you know, a lot of times you get into situations that that you don't you don't know what you're getting into. You stop at a rest area or whatever. You just don't ever know what what is, is there and, and what to expect. But would, if you have that permit, then you can legally carry your handgun with you. Yeah, you can never tell when you stop for speeding or right. something like that. So it can lead to any kind of problems, just not being aware of it right. and stuff like that. So it's always just better to be safe than sorry. In my oh opinion. yeah, I agree 100. So. Yeah. percent Okay, Ty. Since we've been talking about concealed carry class, why don't you tell us a little bit about what the class entails? Okay, basically to qualify for the class, you have to be 18 to 21 for the provisional. You have to be 21 or older for the standard concealed weapons permit. And then you have to be a legal resident of the state and a U.S. citizen or a valid entry into this country. Okay, so what you're saying is that someone that's 18 years old, between 18 and 21, can conceal carry or no? Yes, they can. They can go what's through called the provisional carry permit. Okay. And it's just for people 18 to 21. Now, it is a little bit harder to get that permit because right. you've got to show a just cause. But anyone 21 and over, as long as you're a valid and you know, no criminal history, as far as any disqualifying act, you're perfectly good right. with it. So. so after you take the class... Which usually, how much does the class cost? The class is $50. Okay, so after you do that, how much does it cost usually when you go to the courthouse to get your permit? It's, it's about $100 when you go over to the courthouse, your okay. county courthouse in which you live. Right. Because you'll have one check you pay for $75, and that's your permit for five years. Okay. And then you'll pay a separate fee of $25, and that's your background check to make sure you're eligible to get the permit. Okay, so you're saying that you only have to renew that every five years then? Yes, every five years. That's not bad at all. So you're saying $100 for five years? Yes. So almost $20 a year to to be able to exercise our you know, our rights to carry and bear firearms, mm -hmm. that's really nothing when you think about it. And, you know, that one, that, being able to carry that carry that firearm on you may save your life or someone else's life. Yeah, I, I strongly suggest anybody that is wanting to or willing to and is qualified, go right ahead, seek your training, get your concealed weapons permit because, it's like I say, it's better to have it than not have it. Right, and you know there's a lot of people that are carrying firearms that really have no knowledge whatsoever on how to use them and if you go through that class you do get a general knowledge of, of what of how to handle your handgun in certain situations correct yeah in my class what i do is i go over the basic requirements for the nra which is the gun safety and gun handling section and it goes over everything from knowing the nomenclature of your firearms the different actions to your different ammunition types mm -hmm. just your basic general guidelines right. and then what i do in the later part of the class is i like to orient it sort of towards where I was a previous law enforcement officer. I have what you do if you get done with the traffic stop. Right. Or what to do, you know, in case there is some type of use where you have to use your weapon in a, in a self-defense justified scenario. Right. How to do this stuff. It's not an all-inclusive, but I just give people enough information to get them thinking and ask questions. And it's a real informal class. Right. I mean, I don't try to make it any type of strict environment. Somebody's got a question, they can ask any time. Sure. The way I view it, if you've got a question, don't ask it, that's on you. I mean, sure. I, it's, people can ask anything. Sure. So it's going to be a real informative. I talk fast sometimes, so I tell people, slow me down if I get started on it. And even if some people are a little less knowledgeable in firearms than other people, I'll try to orient the class back to them right. and, and get them to where they feel comfortable progressing with the class and everything. Okay. And if not, I can do a specialized class for them. Right, so you could even actually, instead of having maybe 10 or 20 people in the classroom, you would even could even possibly do 
just one class for one individual, yes. correct? Yes, yes. Uh, I know that you're open to that. You know, I can tell you from, from being around Ty for many years, he's a fun guy. He's He's not going to make you belittle you or, or, you know, and if you don't have a lot of firearms knowledge, he's not going to make fun of you or anything like that. Uh, you know, we're going to start offering concealed classes here at the store. He's going to be the one that uh, is going to be able to be teaching them. Uh, he's a great guy. Uh, we're going to be posting that on our Facebook page, the times and dates. Uh, just give us a call if you want to sign up for that. Hey, like he said, it's it's fifty dollars for the for the class, and then after you get that, if you if you want to go and get your concealed weapons permit, it's about a hundred bucks at the courthouse. So really, you're looking at total investment, one hundred and fifty bucks for five years, and then you can renew it every five years for a hundred dollars. So it's really not a huge investment. Well, and once you get your training too, you don't have to go through that again. So after right. you five years, it, it expires. You go in and renew. It's only a hundred dollars. Right. So, so, so it's, it's no more fifty dollars things. Right. And you know. A lot of people have questions that they're maybe in a, in a setting like where we sell guns here and stuff. We're busy and, we, and maybe they're embarrassed to ask certain questions. In that setting where you're at, it's a lot easier to, to answer, to, to ask questions and feel more comfortable, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like I said, I know that it can be a little intimidating if you're not right. knowledgeable and stuff and you're new to the area, which a lot of people are because sure. of new record sales of guns and everything. Right. And that's what I want. I want people to feel comfortable. If they want to come to this class and they want to slow it down and I can do this because the class typically lasts four, four and a half hours, something like that at mm -hmm. the most. And then there is a live fire requirement, but I right. don't have it to do anything as far as for accuracy standards. Right. It's just a safe knowledge of gun handling, sure. showing that you know how to load, unload, and handle the firearm. Right, okay. So. So, that's a lot of great information, Ty. I really appreciate you being with us tonight. Here, we'll come back in a few minutes and talk about uh, firearm maintenance. You know, that's something that a lot of people don't do. I'm probably guilty of that. I like to shoot them, but I hate yeah. to clean them. But, uh, <laughs> so hopefully, you know, you and James are going to talk about that here in a few minutes, and uh, hopefully you guys will pick up some information to help you clean your firearms. Brent, Ty, some great information. When we come back on WZTS TV, Cozy TV, powered by Park Center Sporting Goods, we're going to talk about cleaning your guns. The Hunting Show, brought to you by Park Center Sporting Goods. Park Center Sporting Goods, with the largest selection of firearms and ammo in the area. Over 50 years of combined experience. Shop for guns, rifles, scopes, bow and arrows, knives, fishing rods, a great selection of boots like Danner, hunting clothes, and accessories. Park Street Sporting Goods is located at 410 John Rain Drive, Rain L. Open Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. and Sunday from 12.30 p.m. to 5 p.m. or 24-7 online. For more information, call Park Center Sporting Goods in Rain L at 304-438-5660. I'm Debbie. Hi, I'm David. Welcome, Welcome to, to Ace, Ace Hardware, Hardware in Raynell, West, West Virginia. Virginia. Here at Ace Hardware in Raynell, West Virginia, we have several of your heating and plumbing and electrical needs, any kind of home repairs, roofing, concrete mix, plus we have electrical and plumbing hardware for all your home needs. We also carry power tools. We have some canning supplies for all seasons. We have decorative flags. We're a full service dealer with a full time mechanic and a full parts selection. We also keep steel oils. Also we keep a full selection of steel chains and bars in stock and can make chains for any various saws. And we practically have all accessories for steel products in stock. Here at Ace Hardware in Raynell, we also have the remotes for your transponder keys. We have the replacement keys. We are one of the very few places that stock these. They are like half off of what you would pay at the dealer. Plus, here at Ace Hardware, we can also, we have a sidewinder cutter where we can cut sidewinder keys. Plus, we can also cut basically every other key design made. Ace, Ace is a place with the helpful, helpful hardware, hardware folks in Rain L. Stop by today at 326 Main Street, Rain L, or call 304-438-8731. Jackson's Meat Shop, Webster Road, Summersville. 
When it comes to great seasoning, we've got you covered. Jerky seasoning, smoke flavored seasoning, pork seasoning, bologna seasoning, summer sausage seasoning, smoked Polish kielbasa seasoning, jalapeno jerky seasoning. Jackson's Meat Shop has you covered for on-the-go packaged jerky and beef sticks. Uncle Mike has great flavors like sweet and spicy, house blend, barbecue teriyaki, black pepper, maple, and habanero. We also have gluten-free beef sticks. When it comes to meat, we have the best steak, hamburgers, pork, and so much more. Jackson's Meat Shop, 3001 Webster Road, Somersville. We've got you covered from A to Z for all your grocery needs. Jackson's Meat Shop, Somersville. Hi, I'm Deanna Valentine, and kids are our future. If you live, work, or worship in Beck County, then you are eligible to join Alloy Federal Credit Union. Alloy Federal Credit Union has two locations serving you. One at 515 Hinkle Road, right here in Fettville at Doug Billy Shops, and we are also located at 3574 Midland Trail, Alloy, West Virginia. Love Alloy Federal Credit Union! Alloy Federal Credit Union, bridging the gap to all of Fayette County. Windows and Doors of Oak Hill, West Virginia is a manufacturer of premium vinyl windows and doors, plus commercial doors and windows. Our products are 100% American made by our local staff. There is no custom size, just your size. Crown Windows and Doors proudly serving our community for over 50 years. Crown Windows and Doors at 540 Industrial Drive, Oak Hill, West Virginia. Our number is 304-469-2260. To schedule your appointment today. The Hunting Show brought to you by Park Center Sporting Goods. Welcome back to the Honey Show, hired by Park Center Sporting Goods, right here on WZTS TV, Cozy TV. We're going to talk to James Childers and Ty Samples about some gun cleaning. All right, so something we want to talk to you guys about is basic gun maintenance, gun cleaning, and some things to keep in mind with your everyday guns, your around the house guns. Um, Ty, you want to start with the AR? Yeah, I can do that. All right, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show this gun is unloaded. I will lock the action back. All right, look, breach, clear. I'm not going to sweep you with it. This is your standard modern sporting rifle, otherwise known as an AR-15. Thousands upon millions of these has been sold now in this latest gun buying spree and stuff like that. A lot of people don't know how to take care of them. They look at it and they go, how do I open this thing up? Well, the easiest way is there is two takedown pins separating the upper and lower receiver. What you want to do is start right here, the rear takedown pin, press it with either your hand or like an ink pen, pull the pin through from the other side. Yeah, that's where I need to release the action. Now that'll make it easier. Alrighty. There I got. Okay, once you have it this far right here, you can take the charging handle, pull it back, and the bolt to the rifle will come sliding out the rear. This right here is your standard AR-15 bolt. I'm gonna lay that down here real quick. Take your charging handle out. There's a little recess. You pull it back and there's a channel that'll fall down through. You just take it out and pull it out. And there you have your firearm in a way in which you can readily clean it. Okay, James here has a bore snake, which is my preferred method of cleaning the bore and the chamber area of this rifle. What you do is take it out of the package. There's a weighted end that you slide down from the breech towards the muzzle and then you proceed to pull it through and it takes all the fouling out of the barrel and 
most of your gunk and debris because there is a scrubbing action inside that thing. After you do that, you can spray some lubricating oil on the back of it, take it through, and it'll take care of your thing. Now there's a more detailed way of cleaning it. This is just your standard field expedient cleaning method. Your bolt, you just take a generalized oily cloth with some possible bore solvent if you have a really fouled one. This one here has been shot. You can see there's some carbon fouling on it. You just basically take it, wipe the exposed surfaces down, get the carbon fouling off. You can do a more detailed takedown of this if you want. But for today's purposes, we're just going to show this right here. You just wipe this down. After you wipe it down with the bore solvent cleaner, you take your light coating of a lubricating oil, spray over top of it, taking care to get around some areas. To reassemble this firearm, you pull the section of the bolt straight out. Then you take your charging handle, put it back inside the upper receiver of the AR. Now I'm having trouble. Put this down. Yeah. Put it in. Take this with the gas key pointing straight up. Slide it back inside the receiver. Close it down. You'll hear a click to show that it's locked. Take it, close it, push the pin back through, and the rifle's back together. And Ty, something you mentioned too is that on these AR-15s, you don't want to over lubricate the internals. It needs light oil, no grease, nothing heavy, because if you go with something too sticky, it can actually stick uh, the fouling and the copper and everything to the bolt. Yeah, it'll make a paste. And that's not going to work well in a semi-auto. Um, also here with your handguns, this is a Glock type. Um, you want to clear the weapon, make sure that it's empty. Now on your Glocks, and different models have different takedowns, so everything's a little bit unique here, but uh, with the Glock, you have these two pins right here. You pull the slide back, you depress the pins, and then pull the trigger. The whole slide will now come off. And your main spring pops out, and now we get to the barrel. Now, this is about as far as you need to generally take one apart in order to do your average cleaning, kind of like the AR. You can go more thorough and take more stuff apart if it really needs cleaned. Um, but for after a day at the range, this is typically far enough. You're going to want to pay extra attention to the inside here of the rails. It gets a lot of carbon build up here and just clean the inside with a brush, paper towels, something of that nature. The barrel is very similar to what he said with the AR-15. You want to go from the back to the front with a bore snake. Um, a lot of you guys still use the uh, cleaning rods with the brushes. That's fine, too. Uh, I like the bore snakes. They just don't take up as much space. Clean the outside light oil. Inside, again, with the rails here. Anywhere the slide touches the frame, you want to pay a little extra attention to. And just make sure that the, there's going to be buildup. Every gun's a little bit different. They all have their own personality. Just get the buildup out. Try to oil it, make sure nothing's dry. One point I might make right here too is if you carry a handgun on a daily basis in a concealed manner, you're going to find out there is a lot of stuff that gets inside under the dust cover and in the front of the gun. I mean, I'm talking like lint and fouling and all kinds of stuff. So it's a good idea. Probably, even if you don't take your gun to the range, probably once a month take it and just do a... Absolutely. This is something everybody's guilty of. I'm guilty of. You're probably guilty, guilty of. You know, you, you've got your pistol, your everyday carry, you get up, you put it on, you go through the same routines every day, but then every once in a while you need to take it out and just look it over. You can get dust, uh, I've had salt dust, I've had mud from kayaking, I've had all kinds of things stuck in my handguns before, and you need to take it out and make sure that, that everything's clear, make sure it's not dry, make sure you get a little oil on the outside, and also too, a lot of us are guilty of leaving our ammo in our guns too long. So every little while you need to make sure that you cycle the ammo out and put some fresh ammo in so nothing corrodes and you know nothing's getting inside your pistol that you don't want to. The Hunting Show brought to you by Park Center Sporting Goods.
And while you're cleaning your weapons, it's always important to, to adhere to the safety rules with firearms, always keep it in a safe direction, always make sure it isn't loaded, and Ty's going to talk a little bit about some of that stuff. Yes, and there's the four basic rules of firearm safety. One, treat every gun as if it's loaded. That is an absolute rule. Number two, always point it in a safe direction. The laser beam rule applies. You point the muzzle at anything, that's what a laser beam will cut through. It's the dangerous end. Three, keep your finger off the trigger until you're ready to fire. Four, know your background and what's beyond it, because sometimes you go to shoot a target, if you're not familiar, you can have a bad day as a result of something happening you didn't want to. But when we was doing the takedown of this pistol here, I'll let James go back to that. Let me and put this back together real quick and I'll show. Now one of the features of the Glock is you have to pull the trigger basically to release the upper from the frame of the pistol. And that's where it's inherent that you point it in a safe direction and I'll interject that whenever I try to clean my guns, I have a son at the house, you have children. I do. When I go to maintenance on my weapons, I try to be as distracting free as possible because I'll try to wait till my son's asleep, I'll do when he's in school, something like that. I want my intentions to be on the job at hand of cleaning the gun and being as safe as possible. So, Essentially, when you go to take these guns apart, you clear the chamber, you make sure that there's no shell in it, but a lot of these guns require a trigger pull to take apart, so you need to make sure that the magazine is removed and the chamber is clear because if you go to do the takedown process of this pistol and there's a shell in it, when you go to pull that trigger, it will go off. So the magazine, please be careful. It'll fire without the magazine. It, too. it will fire without the magazine, so please do be careful about that. And also keep in mind, your basic gun maintenance equipment is going to be paper towels, a good toothbrush, some decent gun oil. Um, you know, we have everything here to help you clean your gun all the way. We have everything here to keep your gun maintenance free, but the main thing is that you just have to, it takes attention and it takes time. So try not to neglect your weapons because one day you might depend on them. One thing I'll interject too is the more time as you spend with your gun, it is more time you're getting familiar with it. That's true. With first time gun owners and stuff like that, I can't stress safety as the first rule and the more time you can spend with it, the more you're going to learn the features and what all little intricacies they are with each firearm. So more time spent is better time. And please, if anybody has any questions, feel free to contact us. We'll be more than happy to help with any issues or problems or questions you might have. James, Ty, some great information on some great tips right there about cleaning and maintaining your guns. When we come back, the Park Center Sporting Goods Hunting Show on WZTS TV, Cozy TV, we're going to talk about the first annual coyote hunting competition. The Hunting Show brought to you by Park Center Sporting Goods. Park Center Sporting Goods, with the largest selection of firearms and ammo in the area. Over 50 years of combined experience. Shop for guns, rifles, scopes, bow and arrows, knives, fishing rods, a great selection of boots like Danner, hunting clothes, and accessories. Park Street Sporting Goods is located at 410 John Rain Drive, Rain L. Open Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. and Sunday from 12.30 p.m. to 5 p.m. or 24-7 online. For more information, call Park Center Sporting Goods in Rain L at 304-438-5660. I'm Debbie. Hi, I'm David. Welcome, Welcome to, to Ace, Ace Hardware, Hardware in Raynell, West, West Virginia. Virginia. Here at Ace Hardware in Raynell, West Virginia, we have several of your heating and plumbing and electrical needs, any kind of home repairs, roofing, concrete mix, plus we have electrical and plumbing hardware for all your home needs. We also carry power tools. We have some canning supplies for all seasons. We have decorative flags. We're a full service dealer with a full time mechanic and a full parts selection. We also keep steel oils. Also we keep a full selection of steel chains and bars in stock and can make chains for any various saws. And we practically have all accessories for steel products in stock. Here at Ace Hardware in Raynell, we also have the remotes for your transponder keys. We have the replacement keys. We are one of the very few places that stock these. They are like half off of what you would pay at the dealer. Plus, here at Ace Hardware, we can also, we have a sidewinder cutter where we can cut sidewinder keys. 
Plus, we can also cut basically every other key design made. Ace is a place with the helpful hardware folks in Raynell. Stop by today at 326 Main Street, Raynell, or call 304-438-8731. Jackson's Meat Shop, Webster Road, Summersville. When it comes to great seasoning, we've got you covered. Jerky seasoning, smoke flavored seasoning, pork seasoning, bologna seasoning, summer sausage seasoning, smoked Polish kielbasa seasoning, jalapeno jerky seasoning. Jackson's Meat Shop has you covered for on-the-go packaged jerky and beef sticks. Uncle Mike has great flavors like sweet and spicy, house blend, barbecue teriyaki, black pepper, maple, and habanero. We also have gluten-free beef sticks. When it comes to meat, we have the best steak, hamburgers, pork, and so much more. Jackson's Meat Shop, 3001 Webster... eligible to join Alloy Federal Credit Union. Alloy Federal Credit Union has two locations serving you. One at 515 Hinkle Road, right here in Fettville at Doug Village Shops, and we are also located at 3574 Midland Trail, Alloy, West Virginia. Love Alloy Federal Credit Union! Alloy Federal Credit Union, bridging the gap to all of Fayette County. Windows and Doors of Oak Hill, West Virginia is a manufacturer of premium vinyl windows and doors, plus commercial doors and windows. Our products are 100% American made by our local staff. There is no custom size, just your size. Crown Windows and Doors proudly serving our community for over 50 years. Crown Windows and Doors at 540 Industrial Drive, Oak Hill, West Virginia. Our number is 304-469-2260. To schedule your appointment today. The Hunting Show brought to you by Park Center Sporting Goods. Welcome back to WZTS TV, Cozy TV, right here at Park Center Sporting Goods. And we got Brent Crookshanks and Lee Taylor. We're going to talk about the first annual coyote hunting competition. Right, this is something we're really excited about, Mark. Uh, we've been thinking about doing this for quite some time. I think it's something everybody's going to enjoy. Uh, we're going to do this in March, in the way, and Lee's going to tell us a little bit about it. Uh, I want to tell you one thing that I think is kind of neat. We're going to have to kind of do it like a bass tournament uh, format. We're going to do it strictly on weight. So if you kill 10 dogs and and uh, they weigh so much, then you're going to, I mean, you win. Maybe somebody's going to kill eight and his weighs more. But, I mean, we're going to do it strictly off of weight, which I think is kind of cool. It'll be like a uh, a bass fishing tournament. And we're going to do this over two weeks, right, Lee? Yeah, we're going to do it uh, from March 12th, starting at 6 o'clock in the evening. It's going to run through till Sunday, March 14th. And check-in here will be at 12 o'clock, so you have to be here at 12 o'clock to begin check-in. And then that's going to be the first series of the hunt, or the, the hunt there. We're going to get you a total. And then on March 26th to the 28th, we're going to, that hunt will add, com combine your hunt weight, and that will give us our grand winner at that point. So it's going to be kind of neat because, you know, the first hunt, let's say that you only were able to take three, and, and then the other guy was able to take six. Well, you're going to have a second chance. So everybody's going to know how many pounds each team has, which I think is really interesting. And then you're going to have a, a, a one-week break, and then we're going to do it again a week after that. So it's going to be really two hunts on two separate weeks, but both of those hunts will be combined to get your combined weight. So, you know, we're going to guarantee at least $2,000 in prize money. Uh, that's what the, the, the store is going to put up. Uh, 
you know, we're going to have entry fees, and we're, we're still trying to figure that out. Uh, check us out on Facebook to get all the rules and regulations. Uh, Lee's going to talk a little bit more about that, but we're going to guarantee $2,000. But more than likely, it'll probably be in the $4,000 range when it's all said and done, which that's a lot of cash just to go out and do something that we enjoy, isn't it, Lee? Yes, it is. That's, that's one thing that's really nice about it. Uh, the, of course, the more teams, the more money you're going to win. Right. So in that, doing it the, both weekends, if the weather's bad, you can't get to your spot, or somebody's got to work, you have that opportunity to be able to hunt one whole night, a whole day and night, and then early Sunday morning before check-in. So kind of with a redemption period, and kind of gives you the best of both worlds, be able to go back and hunt. So this is our first time doing this. You know, we may not be perfect at this, but we're going to do our, give it our best shot. Uh, I think everybody's really going to enjoy this. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, you know, this is something I enjoy. We need to get out and take care of these predators so that they won't be killing our, our game animals. Uh, I'm really looking forward to it, Lee. I know, Lee, you enjoy doing this, and, and uh, Lee can tell you a little bit more about, about the hunting and, and how we're going to be able to harvest them and, and uh, some of the things that we're, we're going to allow to be used. With, uh, we're going we're gonna to follow the course of state regulations. Um, you'll be able to use your night vision, your thermal, lights, whatever you have, whatever you prefer. Um, of course, the daytime, you'll be able to use anything you want. Yeah, you can use shotguns, yeah, rifles, shotguns, you can use anything, rifles, that you, anything you know, at whatever that that's, that's legal to use. Uh, you won't be able to trap them, of course. That's not, you know, not going to be allowed. But uh, we're going to do our best to make sure it's fair for everyone, uh, make sure nobody really cheats. Uh, we, we got a lot of ideas. We're gonna, we'll, we'll be talking about that later on. And like I say, check us out on Facebook. That's where you're going to get all our regulations at, the way we're going to do this, how much prize money is going to be involved. Uh, make sure that you check that out on Facebook because that's how we get our information to our, to our uh, customers and to these guys that will be participating in this hunt. I don't care where you're from, if you're from West Virginia, Virginia, anywhere else that you want to hunt, you can hunt. Uh, we want everybody to have a good time with this, and I think it's going to be really fun, and uh, I think everybody's going to have a good time. And one reason why we decided to do it in March is because hopefully the weather's a little bit warmer, a little bit better during those times. Isn't that right, Lee? Yeah, definitely, and try to get it in before turkey season. Try to save right. some of them baby turkeys and all that stuff that's going to be going on. Um, so get out and hunt, and uh, let's have fun. Oh, yeah, I can't wait. I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, you know, Mark, uh, We've had a pretty good episode, I think, tonight. I mean, we've, we've talked about, uh, you know, firearm safety, all the different firearms that's been bought. Uh, we talked about maintenance. We talked about, you know, our coyote hunt that I'm really looking forward to. I'm really excited about doing that, Mark. And uh, I can't wait to see what next week's episode's going to bring. I'll tell you what, some great information tonight on the hunting show right here on WZTS TV, Cozy TV. Folks, we'd like to thank our sponsor, Brent. Crookshanks here at Park Center Sporting Goods of Raynell, Alloy Federal Credit Union, and Alloy and in Dubs, Dubs Village right there in Fedville, Crown Windows in Oak Hill, and Ace Hardware right here in Raynell, West Virginia. Folks, have a good evening, and we'll see you on the next episode of The Hunting Show. The Hunting Show brought to you by Park Center Sporting Goods.